In hurricane season, all eyes are fixed on the skies to the southeast, towards the Atlantic and Caribbean. This is the usual route in for hurricanes. But just a few weeks into the season, meteorologists have spotted a threatening weather pattern coming from the opposite direction, the north. Tim, what are you looking at here? This is not where hurricanes usually come from. If the system hits the Gulf, high sea temperatures could cause it to intensify, becoming a hurricane in less than a day. No, we're almost through our turn. We're almost through our turn. 220 miles off the Texas coast, United States Coast Guard Cutter Cyprus is en route to a designated location in the middle of the Gulf. We've got this sling ready to go. All right. We'll hook you know, everything up. I'll climb. The Cyprus has a specialist role among Coast Guard ships. They work with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, to maintain their network of ocean weather monitoring buoys. Pretty important buoys, they provide data uh, in the Gulf of Mexico to give early warning of storms. A lot of commercial traffic goes through um, the Gulf of Mexico. It's in trillions of dollars in terms of commercial industry, so pretty important mission. Today, the crew of the Cyprus are deploying a weather buoy that will give NOAA live wind and wave data from more than 200 miles offshore. But the weather will play a big part in determining how smoothly this operation goes. We'll try to give you the best ride we can. I'm not sure how much of a lee we'll be able to give you. Conditions are going to pick up. All right. They will be setting a four-ton concrete anchor, 12,000 feet of cable, and a fragile half-million-dollar weather buoy. Even in calm weather, this is a precarious operation. Coming fast, or what they say? Pretty fast. It's rain. They say the buoy out. Yeah. Hopefully, just in time before it starts pouring down rain, because it's coming. The storm has turned south and is approaching the warm seas of the Gulf. The National Weather Service issues coastal forecasts, and now they're preparing to announce storm warnings. One reason we're getting concerned is it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to start getting into this much warmer air, so these reds here, the much warmer water off the Louisiana coast over the next few days, where the upper level shear will become more favorable for intensification and development. Almost as soon as the system reaches the warm seas of the Gulf, it intensifies to a sustained wind speed of 40 miles per hour, making it officially a tropical storm and earning it a name. Barry.